Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Above Snakes, which is a Wild West survival RPG that asks the question we all want an answer to, what would the Wild West be like if there were zombies? Because yes, this Wild West game also has zombies in it, because why not? Why not, eh? Just chuck some zombies into the mix for good measure, it'll all be fun, we shall all have a lovely Wild West zombie time. So there's a bit of exploration, there's a bit of hunting, a bit of crafting, a bit of fighting, and wonderfully, and I do like this, a bit of a story as well to explain exactly what's going on and why there are zombies roaming around the Wild West, which I do think is quite a good idea because you don't normally find zombies out in the Wild West, so it'd be quite nice to see exactly why that's happened and what's going on in the world of Above Snakes. Now, we did play the prologue of this a couple of years ago if it looks a bit familiar, but the game has changed quite a lot since then, so I thought it was worth another little look. And the full version of the game is out tomorrow as this video goes out, so the 25th of May. And of course, if you're interested, there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description where you can check the game out and wishlist it if you would like to. But anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? Let's dive in and mosey on into town. The conflict between the settlers and the first people was at its peak. The drums of war echoed across the land like a never-ending thunder. While war raged on, a love blossomed from the fields of hate. And from that love, a child was born. Ayana, who had eventually grown into her own, chose to travel the lands and learn for herself the histories of her lineage. With a heavy heart, her mother stayed behind in a town called Corpse Creek. On one fateful evening in Corpse Creek, the midnight skies were interrupted by a light of brilliant green. The awe of such an event quickly dissolved into horror as a flurry of stones of flame descended upon the town. Most folks fell victim to the debris and smoke that consumed the land, though the survivors quickly discovered that the bodies did not remain still for long. That night, Ayana had stayed in the lumberjack settlement, far away from her beloved mother. I mean, if you're going to call a place Corpse Creek, you're asking for trouble, let's be honest. But okay, right, so the next morning it is. So here we go, we shall wake up. Now, what do we have going on? Right there we are. There we are. So we play as Ayana there, and we're going to be using the keyboard. So let's go and have a little look around. There is something shiny on the table, though. I suspect maybe we have to go and pick that up. So, okay, let's go and grab that. Oh, hello. Voice from outside. Ayana, are you awake? Yes, we are. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, okay, yeah, we are awake. Okay, we don't answer back. We have to go and find who that was. Right, so here we go. So it all looks like this. This is kind of how the game looks, and it does look really pretty. I think it's a very lovely game. Now, we're inside, of course, but you can't see that we're inside. But yeah, we do have a roof over our head. We're not getting rained on right now. The game's just going kind to of zoomed in and taken the roof off the building so we can see what's going on. And then down here, we have some basic meters. We've got thirst, we've got hunger, we've got sanity, and we've got fatigue. And I think, what does that mean? Healthy, so it's like you are lacking nothing. You feel well at the moment. Health regenerates over time. Okay, so we're feeling lovely and well rested at the moment. That's quite nice. So let's go and have a little look around where we are. So we're in this little kind of shack, some sort of lumberjack thing it said, didn't it? Some sort of lumberjack camp. Right, let's grab that backpack. That could be handy. Okay, right, so we've picked that up. Press tab to open your backpack. You can access your backpack at any time. You can manage your inventory, craft items, and view your current quests. Note that some items require a special crafting station nearby to be craftable. Okay, makes perfect sense. Right, there's a crate over there which is shiny as well. Kind of feel like we should go to the crate. Okay, so we've got, what's that? Some money. Okay, so a coin uses currency. We'll take that and a book. Folks that can read might pay a decent price for it. Okay, so there's a book there. I don't know if we can read or not, but we might be able to sell that on and make a tiny bit of money. Okay, is there anything else sort of shiny around the place? Do we need to look at anything? Oh, warm hands. Well, that might be quite nice. Let's go and do that. Okay, I have to hold the button down to do that. Okay, so we've got lovely, toasty, warm hands going on. Um, anything else we need to look at? Can we look at these beds? Inspect that bed. What does that do? It was really cramped in here with everyone sleeping in this one room last night. Okay, so we're with a group of people then, was it? Are they going to say the same thing? At least it's warm and dry here. This is perhaps the only place now in Hunter's Rest where that is the case. Okay, so Hunter's Rest is, I imagine, the little kind of settlement where we are. And things have gone a bit sour here, have they? Okay, let's go and find whoever was yelling at us. I don't know why they didn't come to the door, but okay. Though. And there we go. Now we're out of the building. Look, the game puts the roof back on. So you know, it did have a roof. Okay, 
camera controls, we can rotate things around. Okie doke, right. So we can rotate things around. And yeah, that's how it rotates. So yeah, it's got sort of a 90 degree twist each time. We've got a person over there that would like to speak to us. However, can't help but notice there are some slightly sinister green glowing things over here as well. Okay, so some rocks and that weird sort of zombie space meteor thing have landed over here. That's not encouraging. Oh, there's a... Okay, hang on, hang on. We need to go over here. There's a corpse there. Do we need to investigate this corpse? No, we don't care about that corpse. Okay, no, that, I thought maybe we'd go and look at that. But no, let's go and have a chat with whoever you might be. Joanne. Hello, Joanne. You've got an amazing hat. Can we have your hat, please? Oh my, oh my, says Joanne. That is a fantastic cat. I want your hat. Sniffles and weeps. What are we to do? The horror that came over us. Ask if she is okay. Ask her how you can help. I mean, clearly she's not okay because she's sniffling and weeping. How can we help? This is more important. How can we help you out? Is there anything I can do to help? Wipes the tears from her eyes. Actually, yes, the whole town is in ruins, so we can use all the help we can get. We would need logs to rebuild. Even though we have that sawmill over there, I doubt whether we have enough logs to rebuild these houses. Okay, so what did you see last night? Do you have an axe or where are you from? Um, I mean, the most pertinent question right now, if we're talking about rebuilding, is have you got an axe? I'm going to be hard pressed to chop down a tree with my bare hands. Do you have an axe? To get some logs, I need to chop some trees with an axe. Do you have an axe I can borrow? I've been searching for my axe, but I can't find it among these ruins. Okay, so I've got to go and find it, I imagine. I do have this flint, though. If you tie it to a strong branch, perhaps you can craft yourself a primitive axe. Ah, there we go. Basic crafting going on. I also have these hard antlers for you, which may be useful. What can we use those for? There should be plenty of materials around here to craft some primitive tools. Okay, so do some basic crafting. Can we not talk to her and ask her anything else? It looks like these people need my help. I need an axe to help chop down some trees, but Joanne only gave me a flint. Let's see what's around here to craft a primitive axe. Okay, so gather branches, open the backpack, make an axe. Okie doke, we can do that. Can we talk to her a bit more? It's so good of you to help us, Ayana. If you can gather some lumber and rocks, we can get started with rebuilding. Oh, so I can't ask you what happened last night or anything. We're just straight down to business. Okay, so what exactly is going on around here? So we've got, oh, it's like a great big kind of broken kind of, what, like a sawmill sort of uh, saw wheel type thing. Um, yeah, things are definitely in a bad way. There's a massive load of logs over there. <laughs> There's a massive load of them. Okay, so pick up. So we can pick up, what's that, lumber. Okay, we've picked up some lumber. Can we pick up some more lumber? Okay, so now we can make ourselves a pickaxe. I think that's what that said, was it? Is that what that said in the corner? Um, hang on. Yeah, we can make a primitive pickaxe using the lumber. Oh, and the antlers that she gave us. Okay, so make that then. Hang on, so press and hold that. So make ourselves that thing. Where's that then? Hang on, so that would be under tools, would it possibly? Where's the thing that we just made? Got flint and lumber left. Oh, hang on. Equipment. There we go. So we've got our robe on, and then we have our primitive pickaxe. So now we need to get a branch from a tree. Okay, I mean, there's a tree. Search the pine tree. Do we find a branch? Uh, yes, we found a branch. Do you know what? Let's go and grab another branch, shall we? Just go and grab some. I suspect we could do with more than one branch. So let's just grab a hand for loads just whilst we're here. Just flick between the two trees. Right, there we go. So plenty of branches. So now we need to go back to here, look. So we've got a branch and we've got flint. Okay, so go to there make us a primitive axe. Okay, so crafty craft. Now we have one of those. Okay, how do we hold these things? Ah, one and two. Okay, so one is the pickaxe. Uh, oh, gathering lumber. With this primitive axe, I can take down trees to get lumber. Okay, so equip the axe, chop a tree, gather some lumber. I mean, there's lumber right there. There's lumber right here in a huge, big, lovely, lumbery pub. Okay, um, can we... With that thing equipped, can we can we chop at this rock with a pickaxe? Can we do that? Is that going to help? Does that do anything? Are we picking things up? Pickaxe is increased to one. Oh, okay, right. There's a skill sort of meter is there. Okay, so we've become much better at whacking things with a pickaxe. Okay, it's an important skill. This is fun. Pickaxe is increased to two. And we've blown up that thing. That, and we've picked up some rock. And possibly some flint, a new blueprint for flint. Okay, hang on. So that is 
with three, no, with two rocks, you can make flint. Okay, you can use that to start a fight. That seems like quite a useful thing. So, okay, make a bit of flint. Oh, I see in the background is green, if that's a thing you can craft. Because now we've got a piece of flint and a branch, we can make another axe if we wanted to. Okay, what else is there? Tannery, furnace, anvil, sawmill, fletching table, and gunsmith. Okay, crikey, right, that's looking a little bit too far ahead, I think, at the minute. Uh, let's grab another bit of lumber from the lovely pile of orderly lumber. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's the end of the lumber. Right, so equip the axe with two. Um, I'm really sorry, tree. I'm very sorry. We're going to have to chop you down. Chop it. A critical hit on that tree. Take that tree. <laughs> there you go. We've bested the tree. Right, keep chopping it. Keep chopping it. Keep chopping. Axe is increased to two. We're very good at doing the axing. And there we go. Right, gather some bits of wood. Okay, lumber and branches come from chopping down the tree. Right, we've done that one already. We gathered the rocks. We got ahead of you there again, but we've done that. So, okay, that's fine. So now we've gathered rocks. We've gathered bits of wood. Let's return to Joanne. Is there anything else we need to possibly look at? Is there anything else? I and mean, there's some more sort of lumbery stuff over there. Some great big kind of logs back there. Do we need to go in that house? Hang on, rotate that round. Uh, oh, hang on. There's a barrel there. Has that got useful things in it? Let's have a look at the barrel. It's got it's got another book. Okay, we'll take that. Thank you very much. There are quite a lot of books in there by the look of it. It looks there are books in there. It's a good profit to be had in there, but okay. There's loads of things we could get from here. There are many things. Okay, hello, Joanne. How are you? All right, time to get started, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. The sawmill was only set up to saw lumber. Plus, it's unusable in its current state anyway, so I have to build a log cabin instead of a plank one. Okay, that's fine. But first, oh my, how can we forget? Before we can build a new house, we need to take down the old one. I mean, yeah, they are in a little bit of disrepair, I would say. My mind really is a mush these days. You and me both, Joanne, you and me both. If you craft a hammer, you can use it to tear down my old ruined house to free up some space, and later you can adjust the house if you need to. Okie dokie. Right, so now we've got to make ourselves a hammer. So we've got to go and use a hammer to go and destroy things. Normally in these games, hammers fix things. You go and fix a building, people whack it with a hammer a bit, and it's mended. But no, we're going to destroy things with a hammer. Okay, get plant fibres, craft a hammer. We're making a hammer out of plant fibres. Okay, I thought maybe rock might be a useful thing. Is that where you get plant fibres from? Um, hang on then. Accept that. Where do we get plant fibres from? I'm not quite sure where we get plant fibres from. Um... I mean, a plant would be a good start. Any plants around that look fibrous? I mean, that to me looks like it should have fibres in. Is that is that a thing we need to go and do? Uh, search pine tree. That'll probably get us a, a feather. Okay, that's a surprise, but okay, no, that's good. It's good. Um, nothing found. Nothing found in that pine tree. Boo, pine tree. Do we need to go down here in this one? Uh, a branch. That's kind of what I would expect to find from such things. Okay, go here with this one. Another branch. Okay, that's fine. And yet at the moment, we've only got this one kind of sort of tile grid area to work on. But as time goes by, we unlock more of these. So at the moment, yeah, we just sort of stuck on this. But we can unlock them in all different directions. We kind of build our own bit of land. It's all very lovely. Right, how does this work exactly? Where do we get plant fibres from, game? <laughs> I don't know how to get plant fibres. Do we need to chop down these kind of bushes? Is it these things here? Do we chop at these? Aha, here we go. Right. Are we going to get plant fibres out of this critical hit on a bush? <laughs> Take that vegetation. We are here and we're coming to get revenge. Okay, now we can make a hammer. So go into here and... Oh, we need more plant fibre. Okay, we haven't got enough plant fibre to make ourselves a hammer. Which does seem a bit strange, but okay, there's one over there, look. We're going choppity chop there, so choppity chop, choppity chop, choppity chop. Right, another critical hit. We are doing a very good job of critical hitting those stationary vegetation objects. Right, now we should be able to make ourselves a hammer. Okay, so craft one of those, and then, oh, adjusting structures with the hammer. Use a hammer to alter pre-existing buildings or ones you built yourself. You'll get back some of the resources. Okay. Okay, so now we've got to knock that down, have we? So equip the hammer and then just take down. Take down that entire building with a hammer. That, that was quite resourceful. Okay, we're in build mode, are we? Are we in build mode? 
There's a blue border and a hammer thing. I come out of build mode. So we've done that. A workbench. To start building, I need to make a workbench. Some plants around here should be able to get me the plant fibers I need. More plant fibers. Okay, how much do we need now? So we need... Oh no, we're okay. We've got lumber. We've got plant fibers. Okay, so craft ourselves a workbench. Okay, doke. I mean, we could make another one if we were feeling fancy, but I think we're okay. So how do we... How do we place the workbench? The, oh, here we go. It's there, look. So set up the workbench. Um, I mean, we'll just put it there for now, I suppose. Pop it there. The workbench F to interact with the workbench. With your workbench, you can craft building parts to create shelter, crafting stations to refine your resources, and both useful and decorative furniture. Decorative furniture. Upgrading a workbench enables additional crafting recipes, but requires certain materials. Okay, that makes perfect sense. So now... What have we got to do? I cleaned up the mess that the meteorites created. Time to build a new house for Joanne. There is more lumber at the old sawmill. So craft at least four foundations at the workbench. Build a new home with walls and roofs. Okay, we should be able to do that. That sounds like a thing that we can do. So Joe, we're going to build you a lovely new house. Don't you worry. Okay, so first thing, go and grab some lumber from over here. Because there is plenty of it lying around next to the sawmill, as you would expect. So go and grab that there. There we go. That's all gone. Can't pick up those things because they do look a little bit weighty. Right, so come along here and pick all this. So is there a weight limit? Can we still move around? It's a very spacious backpack we have there. It's a lovely TARDIS backpack. Right, so we've got that. So make at least four foundations. Okay, so how do we do that? Where is foundation? Log step, log roof flat, log foundation. Okay, so you have to build a foundation first and then build on top of that. Right, so make four of those. So we've got one, and then two, and then three, and then four. Okay, so we've got four of those, and then we are going to need things like, you know, walls and doors and things. That could be useful. We'll have a log door, possibly, so we can at least get in. Okay, so come out of that for now. Build a new home with walls and roofs. Okay, right, so how do we place these things? So we go like that. And we just go, ah, okay, right, so pop that down. Shelter and perks. The better a shelter is constructed, the more shelter it provides. Okay, so yeah, if you have a shelter without a roof, it's not quite as good at doing the sheltering. The more shelter it provides, the more perks it will unlock that give bonuses. Okay, that sounds quite good. Right, so let's snap these together, look. So if we have four like that, I mean, do we need to... Hang on, where's our... What weapon have we got now? The axe. Okay, so if we just chop down this tree... That might give us some more lumber to go and build with. So I'd like to get another couple of foundation bits down if we could. So choppity chop that tree. We're getting very good at dealing with axes. This is good news. Right, so go and grab that. So that's some lumber and some branches. Um, okay, hang on. And then head over in this direction to get some plant fibres from that thing. So take that vegetation. Another critical hit. Um, okay, loads of plant fibres. And then we'll come down here. We'll get the stuff from this tree as well. Right, there we go. That tree's done. We've picked up some lumber from it. That's all very good. And now I think we can build a few more things. So let's go to the workbench. Get a couple more foundation bits done. Let's make it a slightly better cabin. So two more of those. And then we're going to need walls. And then also, I mean, a window would be quite good as well. A window might be quite nice. And then we are going to need some wall sections. So hang on. Let's get a few of those done. So if we get, let's use all of our current lumber to get all of the wall bits done. Okay, that's fine. What's that? A hay bed. Oh, a bed might be quite useful. Yeah, let's craft a bed whilst we're there. Okay, right. And now I've got those bits there. So we can either have it going out like that. Yeah, let's have it going out like that, look. And then we'll have the door there. And we'll have the window that side. Oh, this works quite well. This is quite nice. Look, it just sort of, it just works. Okay, and then a wall bit there. So we need one, two, three more wall sections. And then we're going to need a roof. Because at the moment, this is, um, I mean, it's okay. It's got walls, almost all the walls in. But yeah, a roof would be quite useful as well. So hang on. We need to go and do some more choppity chopping of trees. Because we haven't quite got enough lumber around the place. So hang on, let's go and chop down some trees. I mean, that tree there looks particularly big. I'd like to think that that would contain quite a lot of useful material. And there we go, critical hit timber. Right, go and grab the stuff out of that. Fibers and branches. Right, let's just go and chop down, I think, these remaining trees over here as well. 
I think these three trees around here also need to go down to give us enough lumber to build the remaining walls and also the roof bits as well. So let's go and chop all these down. Sorry, nature. Okay, there we go. Final tree falls down. Nearly falls on our new hut, but no, it's okay. It's all good. Right, so we've now got plenty of resources. So we should be able to craft, I think, three more, uh, three more wall bits. That should be okay. So hang on, so make three more of those. So that's going to be fine. So one and two and three. And then we need to do some, oh, hang on, a log step might be quite nice. Hang on, we need some um, some roof bits. So that is pointing, that's flat. Okay, hang on, hang on. How big is the, how big is the thing? So we're going to need two pointy bits on that side, two pointy bits and two flat bits. Okay, right, hang on, hang on. We might not have enough material, I don't think. So we can make one, two, yeah, we can make four pointy bits there. So four angle bits. But then we are going to need one more lot of lumber and one more lot of plant fibres. And then possibly if we do want to put, say, a campfire into there, which could be useful, we need more lumber and some rocks. Um, okay, there's a decorative plant. Now, of course, we have to have the decorative plant. That must be a thing that we have. That That's key to everything. It, we have to have it there. I, I, there's no question. This must be a thing. So, okay. We're going to make that now. We're going to prioritise that above the roof because it's important. We all love a plant. Right, hang on a minute. Let's put the plant in. Um, the plant can go... The plant can go there. Look, in that corner. It's quite nice. And we will put the walls on. So wall and wall and wall. Okay, right. Fatigue just came down a bit. So we are getting a bit tired, which is understandable. Right. Rotate that round so we can have pointy bit. Pointy bit. And then sort of pointy angle bit like that. And then it says return to Joanne, but we're not quite done yet. There's a bit of a hole in the roof. Hang on. <laughs> we can't get back to you like that. That'd be embarrassing. Hey, we finished the work apart from the massive hole in the roof. Let's just go and chop down a few more trees because it would be good as well if we could. That was nice and easy. It would be good if we could get um, a sort of little campfire thing set up as well. I mean, I imagine the game might get us to do that at some point anyway. So if we just chop down a few more trees, that one looks particularly big. So hopefully that will have some good stuff in it. And if we do that one as well, critical hit on that tree. Another critical hit on the tree. I bet when it comes to fighting you know, things that want to kill us a bit, like wolves and such, I bet we don't get any critical hits at all. But there we go. And let's just demolish this pile of rock over here to get these stones out of that. That could be handy. So there we go, just do that. Right, and pick up all the bits of rock. Wonderful. So now I think we've got enough to finish the roof bits. Plant fibers. Okay, we need two plant fibers. Hang on, where's a plant? We need to find ourselves a plant. Uh, any plants around the place would like to be chopped up and turned into fibres. Come on, volunteer plants. Okay, this could potentially be a problem. I can't find any more plants that would like to be turned into plant fibres. We've got no plants kind of hanging around the place. We might have to maybe go and chop down the remaining trees and hope that we get plant fibres out of those. That is a bit of a nuisance. We can't go back to her and say, hey, look, we've finished all that work that you asked us to do. But there's a great big hole in the roof of the cabin that we've built. <laughs> That's just not going to fly. That's going to be terrible. Um, okay, that was a lumber and a branch. Okay, not perfect. Right, we're running out of trees as well now. Um, okay, come on, we can do this. There's one tree over here. That looks like a tree full of plant fibre. It's a very fibrous looking tree, if you ask me. So chop that down. Choppity chop. It falls apart. Lumber and branches. Bother. Okay, okay, right. We might possibly have to go back to her uh, with a little bit of a hole in the roof. We'll try and fix that as we go. We'll try and sort that out. I do apologise. <laughs> that's, that's a bit shoddy, isn't it? We can make a campfire, though. A large fire which provides heat and light. It can be used to cook meals. Let's make one of those. Because I suspect the game's going to say make one of them anyway. So, okay, so we'll get that and we'll put that. We can't put it inside, I assume. I guess we can't put that indoors, no. Uh, we'll put that I mean, out the front would make sense. Pop that there for now. Right. Hello, Joanne. Wow, look at that home. Great work, Owen. Do you think? Do you think? I think it's got a few architectural flaws in it, like the big hole in the roof. I mean, it's lovely if you want a bit of fresh air coming in. Not so good if you don't want water to come in or, you know, people or whatever. Okay, fine. You seem quite happy with it. There's something else that requires our immediate attention, though, apart from the big hole in the roof, really. I just realised that the person lying over there is still breathing. 
Are they? We just ran over them many times. He inhaled the smoke of the meteorites last night and fainted. Later some debris seemed to have wounded him. When I found him this morning, I checked on him and was certain that he was not breathing anymore. But maybe there is still hope for him. Or he's a zombie, Joanne. Do you know what to do? Okay, tell her you know how to help. Tell her that you never provided medical care. Uh, do you know what? It'll be fun. Tell her that we know how to help. We're going to do it. It's going to be fun. I know what to do. Bandages will stop the bleeding. Yeah, we're clever. We know all about that. Right, we need to get some bandages. Maybe there's still some left in the clutter in the old sawmill. Okay, so now, hang on. So now we'll be, are we being allowed to go into here? Can we go into the old sawmill? Uh, find a bandage. Heal the wounded person. So we can't go in there. So I assume we have to go in that door that was around the back that we tried to go in earlier, but the game tutorials and said no. Sprinting and stamina, shift to sprint. Ah, okay, right, that's fine. So we can sprint. We don't need to right now, though. It's okay. Right, so open the door. In we go. Hello? <laughs> do you, do you, did you not want to come and help? You thought you'd just let everyone else do some work and you know, repair the carnage of what's happened while you have a nice sit down. Okay, do you know what? There's a shelf there. Just because you haven't helped, we're going to borrow these books. This is a library, right? Okay, good. Um, hello, Hunter's Rest resident. That's a magnificent moustache. Hey there, how did you sleep? Tell him you slept fine. Tell him you didn't sleep well. I think I slept fine. I think we're okay. I slept fine last night. And you? That's good, I guess. My night wasn't as good as yours. The sounds and green lights kept me awake. Like there was something outside. And have you seen this place? It's ruined. Used to be so cosy in here with everyone. Yeah, it does look a little bit worse away, doesn't it? Okay, right, hang on. What's that? There's something there. A pocket watch. Oh, that's worth quite a lot of money. We'll take that. Um, tin can and a coin. Is he not bothered that we're just completely fleecing this place? Right, bandage. We found bandages. Um, a deck of cards. And another pocket watch. There's a lot of pocket watches going on around here. Um, anything else? There's a book on there. Oh, hang on. Take book, it says. No, 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 no. How do we set, we set fire? We know we've had this conversation already. <laughs> I'm more interested in that book, thank you. Um, anything I can have from the table? Anything? It said pick up. Ah, pick up. We've got, we've got a bit of uncooked food. Okay, that could be useful. That could be handy. Right, okay. Hello, this person here. Heal wounded person. Yeah, there is a bit of blood coming out of them. I mean, the longer we leave it, the less blood they've got. We should possibly get on with it. Right, hello. I'm a doctor. I'm here to help you, wounded person who might potentially turn into a zombie and try to eat our brains. But for now... Oh, no! <laughs> he didn't turn into one of those things. Did they turn into a zombie by any chance? Is that what just happened? Gosh, what a surprise. Be careful. They are extremely aggressive. Uh, okay, encounters. Space to perform a dodge roll. Performing dodge rolls will help you during fights. These lands are full of dangers, especially at night time, such as wildlife or the lost souls. Ah, okay, right. Not zombies, lost souls. They're roaming around since the plague. Be careful. Okay. Um, I mean, our current goal is heal the wounded person. Uh, I mean, have we achieved this as a goal? I, I mean, we're sort of okay, I think. Can we... Do we need to attack you? Can we attack? Can we chop at each other? Oh, crikey, they just hurt us a bit. Right, roll out the way. Roll out the way. Right, boom. And then roll. Aha, right, we're getting on with it. Right, roll, roll, roll. Okay, this is fun. Oh, right, oh, there we go. They're lying down again now. Right, we've been injured a bit. So we did take a bit of that. But health is coming back up. Right, okay, so health ticking back up. Um, okay, loot that person. I mean, can we take the bandages back off them? <laughs> Sanity minus 20. But we did pick up some brimstone. But because we did have to... Ah, because we made contact with the lost soul, it affected our sanity. Okay. Okay, right. Could we... Can we eat some food? Can we have some food? Oh, no, we're not hungry at the minute. Okay. Hello. How are you? Um, that poor guy. I think that people who inhaled the smoke of the meteorites are turning into these monstrosities. It's so horrible. You look pale. Are you okay? Tell her that you're okay. Tell her that it could be better. Now nah, we're fine. We're okay. I'm okay. Just a little hungry from all that work and fighting. We should have some food around. The surroundings of Hunter's Rest always have berry bushes aplenty as well. Why don't you use this map and search for some berries to snack? Hands over a map. Okie doke. That's quite handy. So don't starve. Hard work and fighting has made me hungry. I should go and find some berry bushes and eat a bite. So place a Plains World piece. Eat some berries. Come back to speak to Joanne. Hang on, though. Hang on. 
I also have a bit of an idea as to how to do something here. Okay, so creating world pieces. C, to create a world piece. The world of both snakes consists of world pieces. Yeah, like tiles, I called them earlier. Each piece has its own biome and contains various resources. Some world pieces are unique, while others can appear multiple times. Okie doke. So C is make a new world piece. So we've got one available right now. Okay, let's do that then. So we've got to pick the plains one, moderate climate, and we get to pick where we'd like it to go. I do quite like this. This makes it quite sort of innovative. Let's put it... Um, let's put it over there, look. We'll pop it just there, and it's going to kind of plop into existence. Hello. Right, eat some berries. However, we have picked up that bit of meat. So if we light the campfire, we do that, look. And then can we do some cooking? Can we cook that? Um, new ingredient, a new recipe. This looks delicious. Cook this to discover a new recipe. I mean, it's just cooked meat, but okay. So T is cook. So cook that, and we've got some sort of meat. Some sort of cooked meat now, have we? Hang on. So go in there and have a look at resources. No, consumables. We've got cooked meat. Okay, cooked over the campfire. This is a mighty fine meal. It does say six above it as well. Okay, hang on. So if we just press F to eat that, that's, okay, that's all gone. That's all gone. But it did help with our hunger a bit. Okay, that's quite good. And now we can go here, look, into our new bit of the world. And you can see the kind of big dividing line. And we shall collect some huckleberries. Oh, that's fun. Uh, to create more world pieces, you need to scout your surroundings first. Your scouting progress is shown at the bottom of the screen. Note that you can stack up to scouting, uh, stack up scouting to three world pieces, sorry. But scouting takes longer the more pieces you hold. Okay, so you might want to just get the pieces down as soon as you get them. Okay, doke, right, that's fine. So what have we got? Oh, there it is, right, that's our scouting meter. Okay, so the more things we interact with, and the more things we do around here, the more scouting points we get, and then we can unlock a new sort of uh, world piece tile type thingamajig. Okay, okay, that's fine. Right, hang on a second, hang on. Hang on. Have you seen what I've seen, everybody? Look, there's some vegetation. Take this. Give us plant fibres, please. Right. Two lots of plant fibres, and ah, we'll choppity chop that thing. That should hopefully give us plant fibres. Okay, we can go and sort the roof out now. Hang on a second. Um, do some sprinting. Oh, yeah, there we go. Right, hang on. Where's the um? Where's the thing of a bob? There it is. Right, go to there. Can we now please make two flat roof pieces <laughs> just to finish that building off? Because I I can't leave it unfinished. It's a bit of a poor show at the minute. So hang on a minute. Pop that in like that. And that in like that. Okay, there we go. Now we can go in and it's significantly better. There's a bed and more importantly, a plant. Yay. Okay, right, good. Show you know what? Close the door behind us. We weren't born in a barn. Although we've got no idea. Maybe we were born in a barn. I've got no idea. Um. Okay, and then eat some berries. So do we just press five? Okay, there we go. Just to nibble on some berries. Oh, okay. She's vanished. Return to Joanne. Joanne has evaporated. Okay. <laughs> Joanne's letter. We were literally just here, Joanne. You could have handed it to us. Ayana, I am deeply sorry I had to leave all of a sudden. The Frontier sent a carriage to pick up survivors. The least I can do is to leave the cabin to you. You built it, after all. They said the plague began spreading from Corpse Creek. Again, if you're going to call a place Corpse Creek, you are asking for trouble. They reported meteorites falling down there too. Horrible. Some people survived, but most of them fled. If you can talk to them, maybe that will bring some light into the dark. Sincerely, Joanne. Okay, can we take that knife? That looks like quite a good knife. Can we pick that up? Uh, no, we can't, unfortunately. There must be people who survived the plague in Corpse Creek. I've heard that there is a camp nearby. To get more information about what happened, I need to see if there are any survivors. And I've got to find the survivors camp. Okay, oh, and make it your own. Hunter's Rest is left behind by all the survivors. The remaining houses offer valuable resources for survival. Use the hammer and take down the remaining two buildings to make this place our own. Okay, so now this tile here is going to be our little base. We're going to live here and this is going to all be ours. Oh, this is very exciting. Can we make some slightly better buildings now? <laughs> I like that one. That's got a little kind of porch type thing at the front. Look, that's really nice. Um, yeah, to do that one, we do need planks. So we are going to need to unlock some sort of ability to, you know, chop things and such and make planks out of the big logs. Okay, first things first. Let's go back over here, look. How are we doing for all of our things? So resources are looking okay, actually. So how about we do some more exploring over here? Let's just go and pick up some more huckleberries. 
because we do need to do some more scouting look. So if that just tops up, we can then unlock another world piece or whatever they're called. Right, so do that. Grab many berries. Berries are a good thing to have lots of anyway. Right, and then we'll do some eating while we're there to get hunger back up. Okay, so hunger's looking pretty good. And then we just need to do just some more scouty stuff. Do you know what? We're probably a bit low on rocks. Let's blow that thing up. Let's get that and choppity chop this into bits. And I think when that's done, we should then get... Oh, hang on. Yeah, pickaxes up to five. Blow that up. And there we go. A world piece is ready. Rocks and flint. That's all useful. Right. So where do we go now? Moderate climate. Plains. But now, of course, yeah, we can attach to any of the bits we're already on. So where do we go? I think maybe if we're expanding around here, kind of keep it around here. Maybe just build a little block sort of like that. Maybe or like that. I think there. Let's go just there, look. So another bit drops in. More wood, more rocks, more useful things. Okay, right, hang on. Grab our hammer then. Let's complete these goals here. So take that down. Man, that seems a shame. It's quite nice. <laughs> Can we not keep this one? Okay, no, we've got to take it down apparently. So let's destroy that with one hammer because we're apparently magic. And then this over here as well. Hang on. Uh, yeah, take that down with our hammer. Okay, so take that apart. It's all clear. And now that's kind of it, look. We've got all this to build in and do with as we please. That's wonderful. Congratulations on making your first shelter in Hunter's Rest. You can keep it and use it for your survival or take it down and build it up anywhere else. That's completely up to you. I mean, it's a bit rubbish right now, but we'll do something about it soon. Cartography. This land is full of mysteries to explore. But before I go exploring, I need to make a cartography table to work on my map. Okay, so we need to build a, a cartography table, which is a bit like the workbench. Use it to research a new world piece and then place a plains to pine forest world piece. Ah, Okay, so now we're giving ourselves more options when we expand. Okay, that sounds quite intriguing. Now, the only thing is, how do we move things about? Like that workbench there, I want to pick that up and move it over here somewhere. Can we do that? How do we upgrade the workbench? Plant fibres and beeswax. Okay, so we've got... Yeah, we've got the plant. We can get the plant fibres. It's the beeswax that we're lacking. Okay, has anybody seen any bees? Have we seen any bees around the place? I don't think there are any bees. Um, okay, how do we build a cartography table? How do we do that then? How do we get one of those in? That's a recipe book. That is a workbench. How do we get a cartography table? Is it one of these? Uh, no, there it is. Right, we need some ink. How, how do we get ink? <laughs> ink comes from a feather and huckleberry. I thought we picked up a feather earlier game. Or did we use it to make something else? Did we use, oh, we use it to make the bed. Okay, so we need to go around the place and find a feather. Okay, this is fine. So we can go to this pine tree. Give it a quick search. Uh, a feather, right, okay, perfect. So now we can go to here and we can craft. Hang on a minute. Where was it? It was in there, look. So now we need to make some ink. Was that? Oh no, right, hang on, hang on. Now we have to go back to the um to the workbench. So let's run over here, look. So pop over to there. Then we craft ink, made out of a feather for the quill and the huckleberries. Right, so we're writing with berry juice, effective. But okay, that's fine. As long as it works, that's good. So we've got that. And then we can use some lumber we've got and the ink to make a cartography table. Okay, this is fine. Right, so do that. Lovely cartography table. And we'll put that down near our little kind of makeshift shack for now. Right, there we go. New world piece is researchable. Check out the cartography table. Okay, let's go and have a little look. What do we need? We need to get one more rock. Get a rock and then we can unlock plains to pine forest tiles. Okay, that seems like something that is eminently achievable. In fact, there's a big rock there, but let's not completely strip bare our starting place. Let's maybe just go over here, look. Go over here, get out the pickaxe, give this thing a bit of a whack, and we shall pick up, eventually as time goes by, pick up some rocks, and then we can go and do that. And look, the trees are growing back. So it's not like we clear it out and they remain gone forever. That tree just grew out of nothing, which is quite handy. So, okay, right, come back this way. Let's do what that is telling us now. So cartography table. Right, 
So research that world piece. Bit of time ticks by as we do clever researchy stuff. Have we got enough to put one down? Uh, biomes. During your journey, you will come across different biomes. You can place these biomes wherever you want on the map, but you need to make sure to create transitions between them. The biome on the edge of each world piece needs to match the surrounding world pieces. Think about that when placing a new world piece. Okay, so it transitions between the two. So we've got a bit over here where it's going to go from plains into a forest. Okay, I quite like that. So have we got... Well, we haven't got another piece yet. We need to get another um, scouting sort of uh, point thing sorted. Um, okay, right. Let's just go and get that done. I'm going to run around the place. We'll just sort of... Uh, we'll pick up some berries and chop some trees down and stuff and try and get another world piece prepared. Okay, I think that's enough. We've got enough to make a new world piece. Okay, so let's get that in. So let us place a plains to pine forest world piece. So we shall have that. Thank you very much. And I think... Let's put it... I mean, that's where we're going to live. So maybe... We could rotate it round, so over there could be a load of pine forest. So it's relatively near to where we live. So we don't have to go that far to go to a pine forest. Do you know what? Let's put it there, look. That can drop in. Oh yeah, and look, and you can see it looked quite different. To expand my shelter, I should search nearby forests for more resources. Okay, so research and place a pine forest. Okay, so now we have to go back to the cartography table, which is over there. There it is. I remember where I am. Right, so go over there, look. And now what do we need to unlock that? Uh, oh, rocks. But I've been gathering rocks, so we should be okay. So unlock that. So yay. We've now got enough to... Well, we, okay, we know what a pine forest tile is. We can possibly think about putting one down, but we haven't got enough scouting points. We haven't got one in reserve. Uh, okay, right. That's fine. I think we might do a spot of eating, possibly. Just eat a few berries. That's absolutely fine. Right, let's just go and gather some more resources. How big is our backpack? Um, oh, we can hold many, many things. Okay, let's just go around the place and we'll just keep picking up berries and chopping down trees and getting rocks and all that kind of stuff. And very soon we shall have another scouting point ready and then we can go and put down another world piece. And there we go, a new world piece is ready. So let's pick ourselves a pine forest. It has to go there because it can't connect to these because it's not allowed. It's not on the transitional bit, but it can go just there. It looks like it could... No, it can't go there because there's red lines. So it has to go just there. Um, okay, that's fine. Pop that in, and now another new world piece is researchable. I wonder what that could be. Okay, hang on, grab that stuff first. So what's that? What's that there? I don't know what that is. Let's do some sprinting back to where we need to be. So what is the next world piece that we've got available? Let's go and have a quick look. Um, moderate climate. Ah, it's the survivor's camp. It's part of our goal that we're doing. Okay, right, hang on. Let's get that done then. So research world piece. Okay, so we've found the survivor's camp. So now, um, yeah, it's a unique one. So do we have to earn enough points to put that down again? Yes, we do. Okay, right, that's fine. I mean, let's go and have a look over here. This is our sort of bit which is planes leading into the forest. But then we can just go over there and go right into the forest. Okay, look at that. There are many trees over here. What's that? Is that mushrooms? Bees. Okay, we need bees. Right, King Bolet. Okay, either, either that's, I don't know, a very fancy title that someone's got who's lying down, or it's the name of some mushrooms. But okay, we'll pick up that. Um, oh, dusk and night. I was going to say, it just got a bit darker. Yeah, it's become dusk. That means that the night is close. If you're not willing to fight all kinds of dangers in the wild, you should return to your shelter or build one. It is also wise to have a light source and enough logs to fuel it before the night falls. Okay, so maybe then... Oh, yeah, the, the the things. There's something there. What's that? That's... Oh, no, that's not going to come and kill us. That's fine. It's getting dark soon. I should start making a fire so I have a light source and a place to cook. Meals provide me with more nutrients than raw ingredients do and can also provide useful buffs. Okay, so it wants us to cook a berry bowl. That sounds nice. Okay, so we'll light this. So get that lit with a branch and then we'll chuck another bit of fuel onto that. Got plenty of lumber going on. So throw that in. Right, there we go. And we could cook some mushrooms. Okay, so hang on. Can we throw those together? A delicious and nutritious meal. Hang on. Take out the... Take them out for now. So cook just a bowl of warm berries there. And then cook both those together. So make a sort of a, a berry and mushroom soup? Stew, I suppose? I don't know. Right, there we go. So we've got some cooked meals on the go. So we've cooked a berry bowl. 
We've, have we not done that? Did we not just cook a berry bowl? Um, I thought we'd cooked a berry bowl, but okay, clearly we haven't. Hang on, what's that then? So we've got, hang on, hang on, consumables. Huckleberry cooked meal, cooked meal, cooked meal. Okay, we haven't cooked a berry bowl then, I assume that's what that was saying. Um, oh, I see, right, all three added together. Cook that and it makes... A huckleberry bowl. Okay, right, I see. So different combinations make different things. Okie doke. Right, I think then, let's go into our beautiful, highly desirable building and we'll just have a little bit of a sleep. We'll have a bit of a sleep. Oh yeah, there you go. You save your game over at your place with a bed as well. But yeah, now it's got very, very dark. It's incredibly dark. Um, okay, are we all right for food? I think we'll eat in the morning. So, okay. So rest, needs night or tired, and then save game. Do you know what? Yeah, we shall have a bit of a rest, please. Let's just go through to the morning, and we'll see what we can do in the morning. So here we go. We wake up, search for water. I was thinking at the back of my mind, we haven't seen any kind of water sources yet. Okay, I feel thirsty. There must be some nearby lakes I can get water from. Find a lake, drink water. Crikey. Okay, right, no pressure then, but we have to go and find a lake. Right, first things first, let's eat our berry bowl. That should be good for hunger. And then we'll have whatever seven was. I'll have a couple of sevens, please. And then we'll eat whatever eight was. Okay, right. So food is now topped up. That's quite good. Uh, we need to get some more. Hang on. Hang on. Find a lake. A lake is going to be a new tile type, isn't it? So we need to go here and unlock a lake. Okay, rocks. That's what we need. We need to get some rocks. So if we go to here and start chopping these things apart. That'll give us scouting points. Scouting points unlocks a new tile. We put down the lake world piece, and then we can maybe get some water on the go. Okay, right, this is fine. So let's just go and get enough scouting points to get another world tile put down. Okay, there we go, scavenging some berries, and we've got a new world piece ready. So let's put that down. And yeah, we do need to get the survivor camp in, but more importantly, yes, we do need to get some sort of uh, water stuff in. Um, oh, Hang on, I didn't unlock the thing. Hang on a second. Yeah, I know, we didn't unlock the thing. We've got some rocks now, though. We've got plenty of rocks on board, so we should be able to get this done. And water is okay, I think, because our berry sort of, um, our pot of berries did contain liquid as well. It sort of topped our water meter up a tiny bit, which is quite good. Um, okay, so unlock that, please. So Plains Lake is rock and plant fibers. Um, Plains and Pine Forest. Is that not what that already is? Oh, that's on one side. That's on two sides. Okay, we don't need that right now. Let's save our rocks for the moment. Okay, so Plains Lake is in. This could be quite good. So now go to here and we'll put down a Plains and Lake tile. Okay, maybe we could have a lake over there. So trees over there, water over there, Plains in the middle. That would make sense. So pop that in. So now I imagine we can make ourselves a proper lake tile, which is an entire lakey sort of tile. You're full of water rather than just on the edge. So let's nip over here, look. So scoop water. Yes. Let's have a quick drink of water, please. Okay. And thirst increase over time, but also when eating dry, sweet or salty food. Okay. That makes sense. So keep scooping water. It's making us tired, but we're not dry. Ah, there's water. Okay, so we've got a little kind of container for water. Okay, so if we then just go drink the water and drink the water. Okay, that's looking good. Oh no, food poisoning. You have food poisoning. This decreases your health for a while. Oh no. <laughs> okay, right. We're a bit under the... Oh, crikey. And then yes, it really did hit us quite hard there. Ow. Right, okay, that was quite bad. That was quite painful. That really hurt then. Right, so keep doing that. That's really... That's a very angry bit of food poisoning that is. That's proper stomach cake. Right, let's chop this tree down. Let's get rid of that tree because that will give us some more scouty points. Um, we're only halfway through our current bout of food poisoning and it's making us a bit unwell, I would say. But okay, we can't do too much about it. Um, right, can we get another tree? Right, let's get a few more. Do you know what? Let's just go. I'm going to chop some more trees down, pick up some more berries, get some more rocks and we'll get another world tile available. And then... We'll put down the survivor camp and we'll see what's going on there. Okay, there we go. We've now got a new world piece ready. Let's go and put that down. Right, survivor camp. Where shall we put that? It kind of makes sense to put that far away from where we are. Otherwise, we might have sort of bumped into them. So logically, in terms of a story, maybe it should go over there, look. 
kind of out the way, that's going to be fine. I mean, yeah, there's a bit too near, isn't it? That's a bit too close. I think, let's put them over there. Look, so drop the survivor camp in. That looks very lovely. Right, so how are we doing? We are a bit worn out. We're a bit tired. So maybe, do we know how far away through the, so far, far along through the day we are? There's a sun just there, but I don't know if that's telling us how far through the day we are. Um, workbench has got a question mark over it. Why is that? If I upgrade my workbench, I'll be able to build more complex things. Every workbench level requires certain resources for upgrading. Ah, okay. We looked at this, didn't we? Ah, beeswax. Okay, yes. Hang on a second. Hang on. So we saw some bees over here. The only thing is, in the forest, are we not going to get stung by the bees? Are we going to get hurt by the bees? I'm not quite sure. Hang on. There were bees, though. We saw them up in a tree. There's a deer. I imagine at some point we're going to have to go hunting for you. I do apologise. Um, search the pine tree. Don't get stung. So we found a branch. And we found a branch. And we found nothing. Okay, hang on. Hang on. There, there are definitely bees in that tree, though. How do we... Oh! Hang on, it's getting dark. We need to go home. We'll come back and look at the bees in a second, but hang on, we need to get home quick. Right, do a bit of sprinting, please. This is quite good, because it gets our special sort of stamina thing up. But yeah, we are sort of wearing out a bit, because yeah, we're getting hungry, and we're running around, we're wearing ourselves out. But we nip inside nice and quick, shut the door behind us, and have a lovely sleep. Okay, so go to bed right now. There we go, so we go to sleep, we wake up, and there we go. Right, so a brand new day. We're not so exhausted. Go to there, shut the door behind us, because, again, it's important. I want to move the workbench to there. How do we move the workbench? Is it this? Remove... Hang on. It'll go back into our inventory, won't it? Or do we get all the stuff back? Okay, so that's gone. But then we have to... Yeah, I want to rebuild it near the front of the building. Just because it makes sense. It's kind of over there in the middle of nowhere now, looking a bit silly. So, okay, what if... We made our own workbench. Hang on a minute. So crafting workbench. Make one of those and then put that. Hang on. Rotate it. Rotate it around. Put that just there. There we go. That makes a bit more sense. And then upgrade that with the beeswax. However, first things first, we need food and drink. So have a bit of water. That's nice. And then some food. Okay. What have we got in terms of food? Is it just... Okay, we're, we're on a very heavy berry-based diet at the moment. Okay, let's light the fire. <laughs> we'll eat some cooked berries, shall we? Right, do some cooking. We'll go one, two, three. And we'll just cook up some huckleberry bowls. A bowl full of berries. Yum. Oh, yummy, it says there. I don't know if that's sarcastic or not, but okay. We'll make... Um, let's make three... Four bowls of that. Why not? That'll use up some resources, and it gives us some food. And then we can just press 7, because it's down there, to eat some of that. And, okay, it's looking pretty good. You know, we'll have another bowl of that, actually, to sort the hunger out. Right, let's head back over here, then, toward where the bees were. We couldn't get them out of the tree directly, so I suspect maybe what we have to do is chop the tree down. And I'm very sorry, bees, because bees are the best animals, and we all know this to be true, but we might have to possibly chop the tree down to get a hold of the... The, the honey and the beeswax and whatever, which is a bit sad. I don't really want to have to do this, but yeah, I think that's what we have to do. So, okay, let us... Okay, I'm being stung by bees. I suspect the bees are hurting me a bit. Hang on a minute. Um, Yeah, okay, right. So pick those things up. So honey and beeswax and lumber. Oh, there's another tree. Okay, hang on a minute. <laughs> I'm so sorry, bees. Forgive me, bees. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm being stung. Ouch. Uh, okay, the bees... The thing has come down. So the, the, the hive did come down. And also the tree came down as well. Lumber is always quite useful. Um, let's pick up some plant fibres as we go. Because this is quite useful. Because it's all exploring. It all gives us more sort of points and things. I quite like that. I like the fact that the game encourages you to go out and interact with the world that you're creating. That's quite nice. Uh, we'll gather some berries as well. Because we might as well get some more bowls set up of lovely food. Okay, there we go. I mean, I did see... Over at the um, over the lake bit, we can get a fishing rod. Now, is that something we can get when we upgrade over here? That would be quite exciting, wouldn't it? So, hang on. Go to here, and we will make our... So, yeah, up, oh, two out of three beeswax. Oh, botherations. Okay, we can't upgrade the thing just yet. That's a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? Never mind. Um, okay, let's make our way all the way over there to have a chat with the survivors. 
because we've unlocked their kind of survivor camp thing. So let's go and see what their story is. Let's head over here and have a chat with some people. And when I say have a chat with these people, I mean, first of all, go to the barrels and steal all their things and then go and have a chat with them. What's in that barrel there? Some money. That's going to be very handy. What about... Oh, it's just one barrel. Oh, no, that's a different barrel as well. Hang on. What about that barrel? That barrel has a key. Oh, yeah, we'll take that. Are they annoyed that we're nicking all their things? I don't think they've noticed. I don't think they've noticed. Oh, hang on. There's a thing at the back there. Can we open? Oh, hang on. That's got the... Did we use the key on that? We picked up some canned beans. It truly is the Wild West. Okay, right. Wonderful. There's a crate over there. We'll have that and that. Um, I mean, yeah. Oh, hang on. Hang on. There's a beehive in that tree. We can get some more stuff. Oh, we get stung again, of course. Ow. Stingity sting. Um, I was going to say, I think... What happens is, this happened earlier, um, if you chop a tree down and it falls on things, it causes damage because one of the trees fell on some rocks and the tree blew up, but also the rocks blew up as well, which is quite handy. So I think yeah, you can sort of cause damage, like physics damage sort of thing. Um, okay, so hang on. There are some more crates over there. However, we're now, we're now just blatantly stealing from them. Hello, <laughs> we're just going to have your things. We'll have a horseshoe, thank you. We'll take that book. Uh, these are all lovely things. Cheers. Um, we'll have that coin and an oil lantern. We shall have that coin there. Just pop around the corner. Have that one there. Another key. Oh, lovely. A key to get some valuable stuff. Very nice. Um, right. Hello, Greg Brown. How are you, Greg Brown? How are things? Um, yeah, it looks like I've talked to you, but let's chat to Greg Brown anyway. I, I want one of these hats. Good day. I'm Greg Brown. I ran the trading post in Corpse Creek together with my brother Sam before we had to leave the town. Oh, right. Okay. And not much of a talk over. Let's go and talk with Sam Brown. Not quite as amazing a hat as your brother, but it's still a good hat. G'day, stranger. How do you find us out here in this Nirvana? Me and my brother Greg have been out here for days and we can't go home. Ask what happened. What happened to you? Well, we used to live in Corpse Creek. Again, the clue is in the name. Before the Night of the Flames, during our escape, we lost most of our provisions. Ask about Corpse Creek. Ask how they lost their provisions. I mean, let's ask about Corpse Creek. Because didn't the intro thing imply that our mother lived there? So we might want to know what's happening. Tell me more about Corpse Creek. Corpse Creek is a big town and it was once the heart of our country. Our entire country, good grief. Lots of people used to live there before that night. Since those horrible things happened, Corpse Creek is almost abandoned. We used to live there before everything changed. Okay, how did you lose your provisions? We lost most of our things in nearby prairie when our wagon was toppled and attacked by, well, let's say one of our own. Ask who attacked them. By whom did you get attacked? Well, let's not talk about that for now. It was not an easy moment for us. We are lucky to be alive still. This fire and a handful of provisions are all that stand between us and the grave. Maybe it's too much to ask, but we are afraid of going back there. Do you think you can get our provisions back? Uh, yeah, it sounds like a quest to me. It's a lovely fetch quest. Absolutely. All right, I can help you get back your provisions. Oh, thank you so much. We'll be here waiting your return. I mean, you seem more capable than us. You've built spiky things and you've got loads of goods around the place. But OK, we'll go and sort that out for you. Um, yeah, there you go. Go to the prairie and find lost provision. I imagine, yeah, that's going to be a new type of world piece, isn't it? OK, look, there's a, there's a box there. Do they, do they mind if I just use a key to open that box and take all their things? Scrap parts and a trap. Oh, that's quite exciting. We have a trap that we could put down or we could sort of, uh, yeah, build and then deploy. That might be quite handy. Okay, right. I think that's it. I think we've had a chat with them and we've looted all their things. I mean, they're going to feel a bit sad when they go to get anything out of all these boxes and it's all gone. Ah, right. Night time coming round. Stamina increasing. That's fine. Do a spot of walking. Go back to here. Run, run, run. Got to get home. Right. There we go. So we're looking okay. We shall pop inside. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to upgrade the work. Hang on. Hang on. We might be able to do that now. Yeah, there we go. We've got enough beeswax and plant fibres. Upgrade the workbench. Can we please make a fishing rod? Because then we could go fishing and that would be fantastic. So can we do that? So craft and upgrade. Workbench tier two. Oh, we can make furniture. A tannery for leather production, an arch, a big dresser, a pelt rug, a fletching table. Okay, we build a wooden table and then we modify it to become a fletching table. Storage chair, so that could be for rocking chair. Okay, that's amazing. That's amazing. We need to build a proper fancy house. Um, shelter level one, so fortification. 
your maximum health increases by 10. Whetstone, whetstone sharpening weapons, your melee damage is increased by 3. And softer hay, hay beds are softer. Your maximum fatigue and maximum sanity increased by 15 because we have a half decent shelter. Oh, and if we make it even better by adding more things, we get even more bonuses. Okay, that's quite good. However, to get to a tier 2 workbench, we now need tin ore. We're not quite at that point just yet. Um, and you can't even see. You can't get a little sneak peek as to what's coming up. That's a bit of a shame. Um, okay, so we can... Oh, yeah, there you go. A trap. We can now make a trap. Okay, it's gone to night time. Time passes when we're looking at that thing. Hang on a minute. Let's go inside and shut the door. And we shall have a sleep. And what I think we'll do is... Hang on. So go and have a rest, please. Oh, no, that's save game. Hang on a minute. Go and have a rest. That's going to be fine. So we go and do that. We have a little sleep. And yeah, a bit thirsty and a bit hungry. But not tired and sanity is looking okay. So we shall save the game. And then what we'll do is we'll pause things for now. And we will come back to this because I kind of feel like we've only just really sort of scratched the surface a bit. We've built a fairly basic shack and we've had a chat with some people. We've got our first proper sort of mission, I would say, to go and help some people out, go and find their things. So I think yeah, that's a good point to leave it for now. I think, yeah, time is going to carry on, isn't it? Time's going to tick by as we sort of wander about. But um, so, yeah, we'll finish up for now. But we will come back because I'm quite enjoying this. I like this. We've only just yeah, got a tiny shack set up. We need to make that better. Also, did everybody see those rocks just magically appear? I don't think that's how rocks grow. <laughs> Fairly sure rocks don't grow up out the ground like trees do. But okay, there you go. Maybe they do in this world. Who knows? I don't know. But there we go. So some more rocks have appeared. So yeah, we can put a new world piece down as well. We've got one of those kind of in reserve, which is quite useful. So um, yeah, we'll come back to this. We'll come back and we'll see what we can do. We'll just sort of explore a bit more. Maybe try to actually get to the town. Try and get to Corpse Creek and see what's happening there and see if we can help out a bit. And I'd like to get a little bit more advanced as well. I want to get some weapons, maybe a bow and arrow and all that kind of stuff. Get some exciting kind of hunting things going on and just see how we get on. But yeah, we'll finish up for now and come back next time and see what happens. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Above Snakes. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. It's got spinny bits on it. It's got wooshy bits coming out of the spinny bits. Wibbly, wavy, round science cylinders. And there's the sun. I can tell that's the sun because it's the hot thing in the middle. It's not a good day for science. It's not a good day to be a scientist. It's almost like I shouldn't be put in charge of running a gigantic spaceship that is the last hope of mankind.